Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we are going to discuss about verbs. Yes dear friends, but this verb is never related to action. It's going to be a very very important learning for your endeavor in English grammar. So stay glued to this video till the end. We are going to discuss a very very important chapter in English grammar. So let's begin. Yes, dear friends, before we start our discussion, here I would uh, write a sentence for you. Verb, when I say he is a teacher, let me discuss this from here. He is a teacher. Now, can you tell me if this verb is? It has any relation with any action? Does it suggest an action? It's not. Yes, dear friends, most of the times when we talk of verbs, we actually relate them with actions. Seldom we feel that a verb is not all about actions. It can do some other actions like a verb if i if i tell you a verb can serve the purpose of a connector will you believe me will you believe that a verb can work as a connector as a link as a copulation yes dear friends a verb can do this and for that very reason we have to learn verb from a different perspective, from a different angle. So if you consider this very sentence, he is a teacher. Here he is the subject and teacher. This is a noun. But just think, think very deeply. He, the subject and teacher, the noun, they are actually the same. Teacher, this very noun, it's describing the subject he. So what's there in teacher is there in he as well. So he, the subject, gets identified with teacher. These are the two different components, he the subject and teacher the complement. They are the two different components of a sentence that's get connected by is the verb so here the verb is not for any action rather it's a connector the verb is connecting the two different components of a sentence so what we will say will say this verb he this is not an action verb rather this verb is actually what this verb is actually a linking verb and also dear friends you must remember these verbs are also called copulative verbs and the verbs itself are named copulas there are many other verbs like this we are going to discuss them one after another but let us recap what we got here in this discussion. What will be the actual definition of linking verbs? So let's find it out first. Sometimes the verbs, they don't mean an action. Rather, they have a particular function to play here a particular role to play here that is not very much usual here the verb actually connects connects what connects the subject this is very much important dear friends 
this is also very much interesting the function of the verb here is to connect connect what connect the subject with what with an adjective it's it's very very important again after these verbs you will get an adjective or what or a noun so either you will get an adjective or a noun but what's the function of these adjective or noun they describe or identifies you may write it down with me it will be very very much uh, essential for you to remember these factors so the function what's the function of the verb the verb actually connects the subject with an adjective or a noun which describes or identifies what it describes or identifies the subject itself so here you have the idea here you have the clue why these verbs are called the linking verbs or the copulative verbs what do you mean by copulative when two things are copulated or joined together so here the verb itself is the connector uh, let me take another sentence he seems no it's a uh, let us take a very 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 easy easy uh, he appears tired we already have an example with a noun and here we have an example with an adjective so he appears tired now what's the function of this verb appears here tired this is actually the description of the subject he tired describes he the subject and appears is the verb which makes a connection in between he and tired these two components are getting connected with appears the verb that's why the verb is considered as a linking verb so these are the idea behind linking verbs why we call them linking verbs the next point that's very important for us why these linking verbs are so very important we are going to that point we are going to discuss why linking verbs are so essential to learn but before that let us find out what are the linking verbs some basic linking verbs all the to be verbs are used as linking verbs that means am is are was were all these verbs are used as linking verbs then comes what then comes to become so be <clears throat> become there are other verbs like seem there's also the verbs like appear oh, sorry there's also the verbs like appear so all these verbs are linking verbs but one point that's that's uh, we have to remember we have to remember very well which one these linking verbs can be at the same times there are many many linking verbs which can be used as principal verbs as well as a transitive verb not principal verb but as a transitive verb as an action verb just consider this very verb appear let's uh, take two sentences and uh, it will be very very easy for you to find it out he up um, no 
we have taken this example i'm changing it the dog appears shake and the next sentence the dog appeared from the bush now just consider these two sentences the dog appears shake the dog appears from the bush the first appears it's a copulative verb it's a linking verb this verb is a linking verb why the dog subject and seek the adjective so here appears it connects the subject with the adjective the subject with the verb with the adjective that describes it here it's not identification but it's the description seek is the description for the dog so appears is a copulative verb it's a linking verb but when we shift to the next sentence here appears this verb is actually action it appears it comes uh, before us it gets out from the bush the dog appears from the bush so it comes out it's an action the same verb appear can be used both as a linking verb as well as an action verb yes dear friends that's why you have to learn linking verb very very well whenever it's be verbs there wouldn't be any confusion it would be very easy but as there comes action verbs and linking verbs those verbs which can be used as both things will get confused so your learning of linking verbs is so very important so now let me sum it up what we have learned so far we have learned that the verbs are not always a suggestion of action sometimes they can talk of connection sometimes they connect the subject with an adjective or a noun that they describe or identifies second point all the forms of be verbs become seem appear the verbs like this they are the linking verbs or copulative verbs and the last point that we have uh, discussed here there are some verbs like appear like seem which can be used both as action verb as well as linking verbs and the last point that's very very important you have to remember the dog appears sick you can't say the dog is appearing sick it's not possible you can't have you can't have a continuous form a progressive form for these verbs so this is what we have to learn about linking verbs we are returning very soon with another discussion in shiksha mantra till then bye bye happy learning